This is the Thank You Ocean Report. The Pacific Marine Mammal Center is located in Laguna Beach, California. Its mission is to rescue, rehabilitate, and release marine mammals found along the coast of Orange County. They're authorized by the National Marine Fisheries Service, and they're also part of the United States Stranding Network. We're part of the network, and all of us do very important work of taking care of these federally protected animals that are sick and injured on the beach. And this was all started with the Marine Mammal Protection Act of 1971 when they federally protected all marine mammals, seals, whales, dolphins, and also sea turtles. Keith Matassa is the executive director of the Pacific Marine Mammal Center. So all of us, all throughout the coastal United States, we all have an area, like our areas, all the beaches in Orange County, all 53 miles of them, and we rescue all the marine mammals off of the beach that need rescuing. And Keith says that their center has been busier this year than last year. Last year at this time, we only had six animals in-house. This year, we have close to 45 animals in-house right at the moment, and most of them are young six- to eight-month-old California sea lions that are coming in very emaciated or very thin. They need some care. They have uh, pneumonia. They have some other bodily injuries, you know, cuts, scrapes, bruises. But mostly they need food. So we bring them in, and they stay here about two to three months, sometimes a little bit longer than that, and we fatten them up, give them the care that they need, the medical care. If they have infections, we'll put them on antibiotics, get them better, and then release them back out in the wild for a second chance. And why are there more animals in your care this year? We've been working with National Marine Fisheries Service trying to figure that out and see if it was a disease coming through, you know, a new disease that we were seeing, or if it was just something with the environment or something with the mothers. And and what we're kind of pinpointing and kind of circling around right now is the fact that the mothers may have to be going further out for foraging. So they have to go further out to hunt. And we think that what has happened is the fish that they normally hunt on have moved and they moved out to further or deeper waters, and it's causing the moms to go out for longer periods of time, and the pups are getting hungry on the beach and taking off, not being able to hunt either. They just get very thin once they're separated from mom. And California sea lions spend up to a year or a year and a half with their mothers. And right around this time, they're just starting to learn how to hunt, but they're still suckling on their mom. So they're kind of doing both. It's that transition period, and it's a really hard period for the California sea lion pups. They get hungry, they go off the beach, they can't find food and they start losing weight, and then suddenly they get too cold, and they can't stay in the water to hunt, and that's when they strand on the beach. I asked Keith if the Pacific Marine Mammal Center is a working rehabilitation center or a public education facility. We're both, and it's a tricky thing sometimes because people, of course, want to see the animals, and we want to educate the people on what's going on in the environment, how to take care of the environment, what they can do to help the environment, as well as help these animals. So we have a public area where people can come and we have docents that will talk to the people that come and visit. I think there was 31,000 people that came through here last year just to learn and we have uh, education programs for school kids. So we do both. We're a hospital but yet we're an education facility as well. In closing, I asked Keith to talk a little about how we can get involved with the Pacific Marine Mammal Center and help the organization. His reply has something for each of us. A lot of different ways. They can do anything from picking up trash on the beach they can become a volunteer here or a docent. There's a wish list on our website. People want to help donate things like Dawn dish detergent or materials that we use every single day. They can donate. If they want to do a monetary donation, there's a way you can do that on the website as well. That's Keith Matassa of the Pacific Marine Mammal Center. Remember the ocean takes care of us. Let's return the favor. To learn how, please visit our website, thankyouocean.org. I'm Jerry Kay.